Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, the first few rumors have started to trickle out about what the next version of the Galaxy Watch will include, and I'm expecting Samsung to actually launch the new watch once again sometime in September, just as they did with the S3, the Gear Sport, and of course, the Galaxy Watch. And I have to say, I'm actually really surprised that the rumors are only now starting to surface about the next smartwatch, because in previous years, we were getting snippets of information, sometimes four to six months before the official launch, so this is definitely a late start this time around. Now, so far, what we do know is that there's gonna be a couple of different variants that are gonna be available, and I'll post the model numbers above. For the upcoming watch, you're going to be able to order either a Bluetooth or LTE version, and there may even be a 5G variant available. And that's not really a surprise here if they do offer a 5G version, because after all, Samsung has started to incorporate this technology into its smartphones, such as the S10. So it makes sense that they would also want to have this in their smartwatch as they push to make 5G connectivity to be more mainstream and competitive as other companies are also heavily investing in this technology. The challenge though of bringing the 5G to smartwatches is being able to do so and fit this te new technology into the existing case without further affecting either its size or the performance of the device, meaning without further reducing the battery life of a smartwatch even further, and I don't think I need to bring up the battery issues again that many users have experienced just from the recent One UI software update alone. If it was me though, I'd be avoiding the first generation of 5G smartwatches for a while, and I'll happily stick with my Bluetooth version. Now unfortunately, there hasn't been any talk so far about what firmware it will be running, meaning if it's going to stay with the Tizen platform, or if it will be based off of the Google Wear operating system, as Samsung hinted at this time last year, that the Galaxy Watch could have launched with. I discussed the pros and cons of this quite extensively last year, but Samsung decided to stick with Tizen, so who knows, maybe this is the year that they'll offer a Google-based smartwatch, or maybe they'll stay with Tizen, it's still too early to say. But what I can tell you about this new watch though, is that it will at least be offered in a black, silver, and gold finished color schemes, and that unfortunately it will come preloaded with 4 gigabytes of internal storage which in my opinion really is a shame, because they haven't upgraded the storage here since the original Galaxy Watch Gear, which was released back in 2013. And given the advancements in software development since then, you really need more than 4 gigabytes to store the multitude of watch faces and apps available. So like I said guys, the information about the next Samsung smartwatch is quite limited right now, and we're only starting to see some snippets start to trickle out about it. In fact, there isn't even an official name for it yet, but I think we can speculate that it will be called the Galaxy Watch 2, and there is no word yet about whether it will have a bezel or not, but I'm gonna go on record to say that it will have one because I think the bezel-less models will stay in the fitness-oriented stream, meaning I could see additional models released under the Galaxy Watch Active titles. Okay guys, that's all the information I have for now. I'm hoping that we're going to start to get more information coming out now about the next Galaxy Watch, how it will look like, what other features it will come with, and of course, I'll keep you guys posted on what I hear as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.